Welcome back to Guide to Pen Testing. In this episode, we're going to be covering how to enumerate users from a Windows domain. For this video, we're not going to need very many virtual machines running. We're just going to need our Windows Server 2012 machine, our PFSense machine, and our Kali Linux machine. The first thing we're going to need to do is log into our domain controller and add a few users. To do that, we're just going to go to the Start button and then Administrative Tools. Then we're going to go over to Active Directory Users and Computers. Here, you can see I've already created a regu regular user called Dale, but let's add a few more. So once you've added a few users, what we're going to do is make one of them have a weak password. The whole idea here is we're trying to emulate a real company where users could and probably will set really rubbish passwords. So for the Dale user, I'm going to right click and reset password. And I'm going to set it to password123 exclamation mark. With that password reset, we know one of these users has a weak password. So it's quite like a real scenario. At this point, we can head over to our Kali machine and start doing some quick probing against this machine. So we're just going to do an nmap scan with the dash a flag so we can get all the information about the domain controller. In our case, the IP is 2100. We've now got the results back from the nmap scan. And as you can see, right here, the SMB security mode, the account user was guessed. If null sessions were enabled, and that's what we're really hoping for, is if null sessions were enabled, that would have told us here, and this would have been a blank account. If we had null sessions, we wouldn't need to crack an account or anything in order to enumerate other users on that system. Since we're using server 2012, by default, the server is set up so null sessions aren't available and we can't really easily just connect and harvest user information from the server. So if we try and connect with a null session, let's just see what happens. So we're gonna use RPC client, dash u for username, and then we're gonna do two sets of speech marks just to um, represent a null session. And then we're gonna put the IP address of the server. And then when it asks us to enter a password, we're just gonna hit enter because it's a null session. And then we're gonna try a num dom users and we get NT status access denied. And that's what we were kind of expecting. On servers before server 2012, so 20, 2008 and below, you would just be able to connect with that and you could run that and it would give you a list of all the uh, users on the domain. So what we're going to need to do is have a quick go at trying to guess a username and password combination to start off with, just to get our foot in the door. In our case, we know what that weak password is going to be, but that weak password will show up in your word list. So if you wanted to do this against a real network, it would work. So for this, we're going to use ncrack, and f first off, we're going to do a locate username, which is going to give us a whole bunch of files, and right here, we've got built into Kali a list of usernames. So let's go ahead and use that. But first off, what I'm going to do is echo dale to the bottom of that file. So what this command here is doing is echoing the word dale, and if you do two of these chevrons, or HTML brackets, I like to call them, to the bottom, uh, it, if you do two, it appends to the bottom of this file. If you do just one, it'll overwrite the file. So let's just append that to the bottom of there. So now what we're going to use is ncrack. And then if we do a dash u, dash u in ncrack is a list of usernames. So we're going to select this. And then if you do dash dash pass, you can enter one password. Here you'd probably use a really short word list. Um, you'd have to do some testing beforehand to ensure that you don't lock out any of the accounts here. But because we know the password, we're gonna go for password123 exclamation mark. And then we're gonna do smb colon slash slash 192.168.2.100. And this is gonna quickly test that list of usernames and just the single password. So it's actually an uppercase U for a username list, not a lowercase. So let's run this now. And that's gonna go ahead and try each of those accounts and that password. So we're literally just looking for low hanging fruit here. And this is something you can do on a real internal pen test. So as you can see, we found 
as we all, as we were already expecting, we found one account called Dale with the password password one two three. So we already know that account isn't a domain admin or anything interesting, and we've not found any other accounts because we've not found the other passwords. So the reason why we want to perform using that username enumeration in the first place is it can make future attempts to break into any other software on this network a lot easier if you already have a list of valid usernames. And even if you wanted to go ahead and try and break into more of these accounts, at least you've got a good starting place where you can run um, future attacks against these usernames. So now that we have that, let's do RPC client once again, dash u, but this time we're going to use the username Dale. And then we're going to type the IP address of the domain controller. And let's go ask for Dale's password, and luckily we know what that is. And now we can do a num dom users, and it'll give us a list of all the users on the domain. Obviously we don't have that many, our domain's kind of small, but at least we know now that we have a user called Dale, a user called Bob, and a user called Steve. And we also know that you're using the default administrator username. 